Now let's begin to explore debits and credits. And before we do that, let's talk about the big T. Our equation, what equals who. On the big T, let's put what on one side and who on the other. Now we know that what are assets and that the who side are our equity account and liabilities. For instance, vehicles will go under this what side. We will have a vehicle account because that's an asset. We could also have a cash account. Hopefully we have a cash account. That's also going to be on the what side. I could make little T's for these also. In fact, I will. On the who side, remember we had borrowed something from the bank, so I will have a notes payable. In fact, I'll make a T for that. I'm going to break down my owner's equity into something called paid in capital. When I first initiate my company, I pay in capital and that is my equity. So I'm going to have a paid in capital. These T's are really representations of my accounts. And I've put them on either side of what I will call my big T. And the reason why I do that is because we can start explaining debits and credits. T and physical lo location had to do with when we had done accounting with actually real books. We had done accounting manually. And location and pages were very, very important. Today, most of accounting occurs within a computer. So these are concepts and representation of what goes on in the computer. But they are very, very useful for us for describing accounting. Remember, on the left side, these are asset accounts. On the right side, we have the, the liabilities and equity accounts. I am actually now going to start doing some transactions. And let's take a look at what those transactions are going to be. Let's imagine that I start my company with $5,000. I am going to put $5,000 in my checking account. Now, who has claim to that $5,000? I do. It's paid in capital. So on one side, I could say in my cash account, my cash account went up by $5,000, and my paid in capital went up $5,000, because I have claim to that. But to maintain the balance of my what equals who, I actually increase these accounts based on the side that they are on my big T. So each account has a left-hand side and a right-hand side. And they correspond to whether they increase because they're on the what side or how they increase if they are on the who side. Let's go back to my example. I put $5,000 into a checking account and begin my business. My cash increases by $5,000. I do that on the left side of the T because in my account, assets, because they're on the left-hand side of the big T, increase on the left-hand side. My paid-in capital that also increased. It's on the right-hand side of the big T. So it increases by entries in the right-hand side of the account. And thus, my overall T balances. My lefts equal my rights. Now let's take another example. Let's imagine that I find an inexpensive truck for my business and it's a thousand dollars and I buy the truck. In, in a sense I'm, well in reality I'm increasing my vehicle account by a thousand dollars. To show that I increase my vehicle account by a thousand dollars. I've purchased the vehicle. My cash went down by a thousand dollars. I don't put a subtraction sign here. What I do is on the right-hand side of the account, 
I placed $1,000. My cash went down by $1,000. When an account is on the asset side, if I credit it, it decreases that account. So in this case, I've bought a vehicle. I increase vehicles by $1,000. I decrease cash by $1,000. And it's interesting because the overall equation remains balanced. I have $5,000 in assets. In reality, that's $4,000 of cash and $1,000 of vehicles. And I have claim to all of that. Let me show also how we read the balance in an account. My cash account, I have a left side $5,000 a right side a thousand dollars. That means if I were to take right now a balance of that account it's four thousand dollars and it's on the left hand side. We have a fancy name for left side and right side. The left side of an account is called a debit and it's abbreviated DR. The right hand side is a credit and it's abbreviated CR. I know that you've heard a lot about debits and credits and can be very, very confusing. Don't think any more of a debit and a credit other than debit is on the left side, credit is on the right side. Now that's a long route to get to what a debit and credit is, but if you understand conceptually that I have my asset side and I have my liability and equity side, if an account is an asset, it increases with a debit. If an account is a liability or owner's equity, it increases with a credit. And what does debit and credit mean? Debit means left, credit means right. I hope that's been easy for you to see.